Hello! In today's video, we'll be looking at things that are microscopic. So anyway, let's get on with it! Roll titles! Welcome to the channel if it's your first time here, and welcome back if it's not. Now that's right, in today's video, we're going to be going under the microscope, literally, with this. And this is the Tom Love 10.1 inches digital microscope model DM9 Max. Now obviously if you've seen my fixing videos you'll know that I do have a digital microscope already, but Tom Love offered to send me one of theirs and I was like, okay, that sounds fine, let's check it out. And uh, here it is. Now this, as it suggests, has a 10.1 inch screen. My other microscope has a seven inch screen, so you know, what's an extra three inches between friends? Got like a picture of it on the box. Let's see what else it says on here. So it's got a 10.1 inch IPS display, like I said. Uh, it can take photos in 20 megapixels, 16 megapixels, 12, eight, five, and two. And the video resolution is 1080p and 720p. And you can connect it to a computer which I don't think I'm going to do, but you can do that. And uh, you can connect it to a TV or projector because it's got an HDMI output. And yeah, you can connect it to a Windows PC or a Mac. Okay, so it tells us what is in the box. So it includes the microscope, the base, an HDMI cable, a USB cable, 64 gig SD card, cool, a light barrier, remote and user manual. Well, I mean, I'm going to get out of the box now, so we'll see all of that. Now, before I do get out of the box, please do give this video a like and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. I'm on the road to 20,000 subscribers and it would be great to have you along for the journey. Actually, I should tell you how much this costs. Now, this retails at around about £150, which for a microscope of this size is actually quite good value, really. I'll stick a link to it in the video description, but yeah, that's not too bad a price. So we have got our user manual. Read this very carefully. My goodness me, this is huge. That's what she said. This display, <laughs> wow, it's actually having trouble fitting onto the screen. There we go. Jesus, that's mad. Okay, well, this is the display and the actual microscope itself. Oh, this might be base. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown away those instructions. Got a nice simple uh, remote control, I like that. So in here we've got a bag of cables. I don't think I actually need these right this second. So we've got a USB-C, ah, it might be powered by USB-C. So I'll keep one of those out. So yeah, we've got a USB-C to USB-A cable. We've got another USB-C to USB-A cable. And uh, we've got a mini, mini, yeah, mini HDMI to regular HDMI. So you can plug it into your TV, you know, gather the family round on a Saturday night and go, look at this under the microscope, children. No, maybe not. Anyway, right. So here is our base. Pretty good. Got our inbuilt lights. Aha, so on the back here, it says base light. So you can obviously maybe adjust the brightness and charging. And uh, yeah, we've got our 64 gigabyte memory card. To be honest, I'm not really a fan of included memory cards and stuff. I do find that they're not always of the highest quality, so I will probably switch this out for a SanDisk one, and I'd probably recommend you do that too. I'll stick a link to a suitable one in the description of this video, but you know, this could be fine, especially when <laughs> I'm recording stuff for YouTube. It usually has to be done in one take, especially repairs. You know, you can't go back and break things just to resolder them. Well, you can, but it's just very time consuming. So yeah, I like to rely on a memory card that I know the brand. So yeah, we've got, we've got the arm here. Nice smooth movement. Very satisfying actually. Ooh, yeah. Mm. And then you can lock it into place with the screw on the back. Okay, well, let's get this assembled. So I assume this spins in here. Nice. 
I would maybe like a slightly bigger base. I know Tom Love do a slightly more expensive one that does have a huge base, um, which that looks pretty awesome. So maybe if enough people like this video, maybe Tom Love will send me one of those. Right, okay, so you can actually unscrew this guy here and put this in its place, sort of anti-light reflecting guy. Now it actually transpires that this has a battery inside that you can charge. So it doesn't need to be connected to mains power at all times, which is interesting. I suppose we should have a little look around. So on the side here, we've got our TV output, which is basically our HDMI output. That is a mini HDMI. We've got our USB-C charging socket. I mean, I think I'm probably just gonna have this plugged in the whole time. Uh, we've got, got our card slot there, and then volume control. Now, I believe, I'm not 100% certain, but I believe this does have a microphone in. And you might think, well, why do you need a microphone in a microscope? When it comes to making videos like this, I've got three different video sources that I've got to sync up together. So I've got my main camera there, I've got my overhead camera there, and then when I'm using a microscope, I've got a third one, and everything has to be in sync. Now, something that my old microscope doesn't have is a microphone. So essentially, I have to sync it up manually with the pictures and how I do that is really basic but it works really well. I just wave my hand in front of the microscope and go one, two, three, four. And then I sync the hand movement up with what I'm saying and it's roughly about right. But apparently this, don't need to worry about that, it's got a microscope in it so any video recordings will have sound. I'm pretty certain that's the case anyway. So yeah, we've got our up, down and okay buttons. I think power button, sort of sync button here. I don't know quite what that means. We'll see, and we've got an M, I guess that's for menu. So I guess this technically needs two sources of power. You've got socket down here, which I guess powers the lights, and then you've got the power for charging it. Voiceover Kip here. Just wanted to clear something up. The lights and also the main unit have batteries in so they can be charged up and run independently of an external power cable. Obviously if you want to run them continuously with uh, power then you need to have a USB cable plugged into both of them but it's not a necessity. Anyway, on with the vid. Right, let's get our supplied memory card in at least. So our memory card seems to go in with the label facing up. There we go, clicked into position. Does this have any charge? It does. Oh wow, that's really cool. Oh, it's got like double light. It's got lights here as well. And uh, yeah, it's currently looking at me. Okay. So if we press the OK button, no, that seems to record. How do we get into the menu? Is it not the menu? Oh, hang on. No. So menu seems to cycle between filming and then taking pictures and then that, a sort of regular view. Does the remote control bring the menu up? Right, so this has sort of got a menu-y looking button here. Yes, look at that, there we go. So can I... Excellent, there we go. Yes, we can record audio. How do we move across? Do I press something on here, do I press OK? OK, right. Fine. Right, so let's have a look at other, other things. Power frequency, we should set this to 50 hertz because that's what we are in the UK. Oh, did I do that right? Yep, okay. So let's have a look at the video resolution settings. So there you go, you've got 1080p or 720p. I'm gonna keep it at 1080p. Um, photo resolution. Let's take it up to the full resolution. There we go, quality. We want a high quality, of course we do. 
Sharpness, that can be fine. Color filter exposure, we don't need to worry about that. Cool. So we should sort of be ready to rock and roll, in theory. That's recording now. So hopefully I can show you on the screen what I can see. So uh, just adjust the silver wheel to adjust our focus. Oh wow, that looks cracking. Look at that. Maybe have a guess in the comments what this is. What do you reckon this is? Oh, slight clue down there. Hang on, let's turn on the other lights. It's gonna be very well lit. Oh wow, there we go. Whoa, that is, that is hella bright, but not too bad. So we can see exactly what the components are. Do actually have to change the capacitors on this, so maybe I can do that one of those quickly. Just as a bit of a demo. Yeah, let's turn on the desoldering gun and uh, do some desoldering. Yeah, so let's wait for the desoldering gun to warm up and we'll take this capacitor off. Cool. Or hot. So while I'm using my solder sucker to suck up some solder, let's talk about some people who certainly don't suck. And those are my channel members who have joined either via Facebook, YouTube or Patreon. So first up we've got our kit fans who are Matt Lovey's JLC Electrical, Paul The Burbs, Wayne Cornish, Mike Cass, Rob Lynn, Scott Made A Thing, Michael Wood, Draco MacGyver, Rebecca and Rachel Hadley. Then we've got the amazing Kip Early Birds who are Dean Ball, Shauna Cablesmith Electrical, Tim Salt, Sorcerer Stan and Mark C. And oh my goodness I love these guys so much and they love me too and they are my Kip lovers and they are Bella Webster, Steer Sticks Fix, Lawrence, Scott Kendall and Props Retro Fix. And finally we've got our amazing Kip Nutters who are the incredible Becky Becky Boobar and the awesome Alan Green. Thank you both for being top tier supporters and big love to everyone on Facebook, Patreon and YouTube. Anyway, let's get a replacement capacitor in this bad boy. Oh, that was a bit of a pain, but we got it out in the end. Bought a bit of a clean. All right, let's put our replacement capacitor in. Soda. Final clean. Lovely. Cool. Those little ends are snippety snip. 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 Perfect. One uh, capacitor replaced. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. You get a lot of microscope for your money and especially this big screen. It's really handy for my aging eyes to see just all the component names and you could just see them really nicely. The only thing I have noticed is Maybe the colour balance is off slightly. I know it sounds weird, but it's slightly red. If I put my hand under there, very red, and it's not that red in real life. There you go, that's my hand, it's not that red. Slight redness aside, it's honestly really impressive. And also, I didn't mention this, but it does have um, an adjustment at the back here to change the tilt angle. Um, I think I've got to, I think I've got to unscrew this little nut here that's very out of focus. But yeah, you can make it tilt backwards and forwards if you want to sort of give a slight angle onto things. But no, I'm pleased with that. So yeah, as long as the audio recording's okay and the video recording looks as good as it does on the screen, then I think this might be a worthy successor to my old microscope. So yeah, if the quality of the microscope images in future video improves, 
You'll know why. Actually, it'd be interesting to hear what the quality of the audio of the microphone is, because obviously I use an actual microphone here. This is the one that you're hearing right now. Uh, the cameras sort of pick up their own audio, but this is like the special audio. But what I'll do now is I'll just switch to the audio on the microscope so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, it, it's probably just passable and adequate. But, you know, it could be useful for someone who doesn't have such a flash setup as me to uh, be able to produce content on YouTube. But 150 quid, and I think I've seen it a little bit cheaper as well. You can't really argue for value like that. The only thing, I, like I said, is I think I wish it had a slightly bigger base. That's my only sort of niggle. Although that does make it harder to store when you're not using it if it's got a big base. So... Mm. Swing some roundabouts. But yeah, it's the complete package at a bargain price. And talking about being a complete package at a bargain price, don't forget to join my channel. You can do it either on Facebook, Patreon or YouTube and anyone who joins is very much appreciated because companies don't often send me stuff like this. So, you know, I have to buy everything you see. Let me know in the comments what you think about this microscope. Have you used a Tomlov before? What do you think of them as a brand? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've got anything else to say, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now, it's game over.